Hello everyone and welcome to the lesson Linear Programming KCC 2016 Paper 2 Question number 15. Now this is a question that appeared in section A uh, of the paper with only four marks. You are only mm. required to form the inequalities. You are not required to graph. As you noticed in the previous questions that we did that appear in section 2, the first step is forming the inequalities. Then after forming the inequalities, we do graph the inequalities then after graphing we go to optimization that is where you're supposed to find either the maximum profit or the minimum profit now this is the most important part when you are solving the questions on linear programming the part that is supposed to be very careful is this part where you are given the statement and you're required to form the inequalities so in this part you're supposed to read the statement word by word sentence by sentence as you are very careful to avoid making errors. Remember, if you make errors uh, during the formation of the inequalities, you end up graphing the wrong inequalities and then doing the wrong optimization. So that is something that is very important and very key when you are solving any question on linear programming. So in this question, it's just about forming, which is the most important thing. And then um, we are not required to graph. So I want us to go straight to the question and see how are we supposed to form the inequalities now the question reads a school decided to buy at least 32 bags of maize and beans the number of uh, beans uh, the number of maize ought to be more than 20 and the number of bags of beans was to be at least six a bag of maize cost 2500 shillings and a bag of beans cost uh, 3500 the school had um, 10 shillings uh, 100,000 to purchase the maize and beans. Write all the inequalities and satisfy the above information. So you need to read that statement very carefully and then form. So since we've read, let's go to the first statement uh, where you're given the school decided to buy at least 32 bags. At least uh, 32 bags. So at least 32 bags. How are we supposed to do that? Uh, the first step will be to form or let the number of bags mm, let the number of bags so let the number of bags so let the number of bags of maize be x and then let the number of bags of beans be represented by y so if the school has to buy at least 32 bags at least this is very important term in inequalities so at least always represents greater or equal to that is very important at least that means greater than or equal to so therefore if the school had to buy at least the two bags of maize and beans, it means that if I take uh, x plus y, that sum should be greater than or equal to 32. That is how you form the first uh, inequality. A school decided to buy at least the two bags of maize and beans. So when you get the sum, it should be either greater than or equal to 32. That is the first one. Now, the number of maize were to be more than 20. Again, uh, from up to that, we can form inequalities. The bags of maize were to be more than 20. So more than 20 uh, is another important statement there. So more than 20, more than 20 simply represents greater than 20. Greater than 20. So the number of bags of maize, maize is represented by x. So x should be greater than 20. So that is the other inequality that you would form. And the number of bags of beans were to be at least 6. The number of uh, bags of beans were to be at least 6. We just uh, indicated here that at least means greater than or equal to. So when you say at least 6, the number of bags of beans, which is represented by y, should be at least um, 6. So greater than or equal to 6. That is the other inequality. Then from there, uh, something very important here, the other statement, a bag of maize cost uh, 2500 and a bag of beans cost that 500. 
the school had up to that point we not uh, need to form any inequality for that we'll be guided we need to continue to the next statement so the school had um, a total of uh, 100,000 to purchase the maize and beans right all the inequalities okay the school had a total of 100,000 shillings to purchase maize and beans and you're given that the cost of um, a bag of maize is 2500 and the cost of uh, cost of a bag of beans is 3500 so we're going to combine these two statements and come up with one inequality so if a bag of uh, maize costs uh, 2500 then x number of bags of maize will cost uh, 2500 x that is the maize cost of maize then for beans if a bag of beans costs that 500 then uh, y number of beans will be that 500 that 500 y and this one we are told that um the school had a hundred thousand shillings a hundred thousand shillings to purchase these so the sum the cost the total cost of uh, beans and maize therefore should be less than less than or equal to a hundred thousand that is what we mean the school had only a total of a hundred thousand so it cannot spend more than a hundred thousand so therefore the cost has either to be less than or equal to one hundred thousand should be should not be more than that now we, ca we cannot leave this inequality the way it is so we need to simplify it and uh, we can start by dividing every time by a hundred you get a 25 x plus this one will be 35 y less than or equal to divide this one by 100 you get 1000 then you can divide everything by 5 again 25 divided by 5 you get 5x then plus this one will be 7y less than or equal to this one will be 200 so those are all the inequalities that you are required to form so you can go through them again the first one uh, was here uh, x plus y is greater than that is the first inequality greater than or equal to 32 then the second inequality is x is greater than 20 y is greater than or equal to 6 then the last inequality is the one that you formed about the cost and that is uh, simply how you're supposed to form the inequalities thank you